Hey y'all, it's Trey, good to see you again. Before we get into this video, I want to say thank you guys. I have been starting to pay more attention to um, what's going on on Twitter and I've been seeing some of you guys mentioning me, uh, mentioning my reactions, that's, so I think that's really sweet. A couple of y'all mentioned me in response to one of Shakira's tweets about a reaction video by another guy who, he did a very good job and if you haven't seen it, like, pfft made me appreciate the song Antes de la Seis a little bit better. So I'm starting to notice a lot more of y'all's tweet activity and I love that you guys are talking about me. It makes me feel so special. So I'm trying to uh, be a little bit better about responding to those and acknowledging those and liking those tweets when they happen. Also, if you mention me in a tweet, totally like feel free to send me a message and let me know about it. It's it just makes my day to see stuff like that. In other news, between filming the first part reaction to this tour and this part that I'm about to do, I've done a little bit of looking into <laughs> better quality photos, at least photos, of the concert so I could get a better picture in my head of what she's wearing because super blurry, can't really tell the colors in the set very well. Um, but I've loved getting to see uh, that little cocoon that she emerged out of at the top of the show. A better look at her outfit. I love, love, love. I think I say this a lot, but I love her in purple. It's a really, really good look on her, that purplish blue. Mm. And so I love getting to see a better image of that. I think that's all that I wanted to say for my pre-show here. So without further ado, let's dive right into this reaction video. Oh, wait, what is she? Yeah! <laughs> She's like, can we take a little pause? Can I just, I just really wanna, yeah. <laughs> Is this like a little intermission of a concert? Is that what's happening here? She's introducing the band! Yeah, cheer for Albert! Albert, woohoo! His name Raul? like him. Rita! She's good. She's good. She's doing a good job here. Ooh, I like the sound of that name, man. Hey, Brendan Buckley. Hey, Brendan, give me a beat. Boom, boom, boom. Rico Suarez? I don't recognize him. And the violin, Debbie Spring. Cute. Oh, she's adorable. Adam Simmons. Y la guitarra y en la dirección de la banda, Tim Mitchell. Tim, yeah. We love Tim. <laughs> Sordomura. <laughs> ah, we have close ups of her eyes because she's going blind. <laughs> They know it, they know it, they know these songs. <laughs> Respect. The way she works this stage, she's so hungry. She's so ready for that crossover to happen. I love the confidence. Yes, 
sort of don't know it how. She might lose all her senses, like seeing and speaking, but <laughs> she will never lose the sense of her hips. <laughs> I feel her just wanting to get closer to the audience. I don't like that there's so much of a barrier. I want her to kind of get closer to them and be out there. Because I love seeing her interact with them and actually getting to touch the fans. down okay <laughs> I love when she does that spitting twirl like that's such a fun move I recognize that it's a really really simple move and it probably doesn't mean anything connection wise but the way that she just spun around like that reminded me of in I think it's Waka Waka in the um, El Dorado World Tour she kind of does that spin thing it's it's a really small detail it probably it doesn't mean anything but i don't know on the off chance that someone else sees the connection as well <laughs> oh it's so bright it's so bright <laughs> I've never seen her do this kind of call and response with this song before. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> Love her dance breaks. Okay, that was smooth. That was smooth. That was cool. Okay, that was a cool, that was a cool arrangement of that one. Yeah, Woo is right. <laughs> mm. Oh, we're gonna slow it down here? We're gonna slow it down. Mm. 
feel the way this builds into the chorus dynamically. I think that's another good example of her breath control technique. Like there, it's just, okay, that phrase that just builds, okay, it starts out soft and then it gets louder and then it gets soft again, but it's still like crisp and the diction is good. You can understand what she's saying. Whereas bad breath control would be if she started loud and just like, you know, fizzed out by the end, but it starts soft, builds, and then comes back down and she has enough breath to finish the full phrase. star pattern kind of that we have shining down on the stage. Are those gobo lights? Is that what that is? She's packing a lot of air here. Love it. I'm always speechless for the last minute of that song. The beginning and for most of it, it has that traditional pop ballad structure, you know, it's kind of predictable and when it's gonna happen. But that last minute, I'm just kind of like, what, what, what the, ah, what, you know, all the vocalizing, the instruments always do something different there too. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's always, it's always so fresh. It's, it's every time watching that one, it's something new and unique. Truly. <sighs> Quality. 
this quality, I can't tell what they're singing. Buenos Aires is a really lively crowd. Is this a cover? I don't think I've ever heard this song before. Pause. Hold on a second. What song is this? It's called Alfonsina y al Mar. It's a song by Mercedes Sosa. So this is a cover. Never heard before. Was not expecting this at all. But if I'm gonna based off of what I saw of her Metallica performance, I love when Shakira does a cover. She's so still. That's amazing. Oh, the way that this is picking up, the way that this is picking up. <laughs> Yo, when it is just her voice and a guitar, or even just her voice, uh, I'm very happy with the energy that she created in the studio that day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, are, what are these lyrics? Let's look at these lyrics. Okay, so the singer Mercedes Sosa is an Argentine singer. Did she only perform that song in Buenos Aires or was it part of the entire tour Anfibio? Bájame la lámpara un poco más, déjame de que duerma, nodriza en paz, y si llama él, no le digas que estoy, dile que Alfonsina no vuelve, 
Y si llama él, no le digas nunca que estoy. Di que me ido. Wow, and okay, I'm doing some like in the moment research about the song, Alfonsina y el Mar. It's a song that's known to almost everyone in Latin America. It would be like if Shakira were to sing somewhere over the rainbow here in the States. This song is named after a very popular poet and journalist. She's a legend in South America. The speaker of the poem is someone who is diagnosed with breast cancer and had surgery but had to suffer a lot during the chemotherapy. Ooh, especially in the 1930s, oh my goodness. It would have had to have been a different process entirely than I think. And then it was performed by Mercedes Sosa for her album Mujeres Argentinas in 1969. It's an ode to the ill-fated poet, Alfonsina Stoni. Dim the light of the lamp a little bit for me. Let me sleep in peace, nurse. And if he calls, don't tell him I'm here. Tell him that Alfonsina is not coming back. If he calls, never tell him that I'm here. Tell him that I have left. Oh, you go there like in a dream, asleep Alfonsina dressed with the sea. Wow. Today I learned an Argentine folk song. This is so, what? <sighs> it's so sad, but so beautiful. Culture me, queen. Culture me, queen, Shakira. What's going on here? What is going on here? What, what song is this leading into? The question I guess is how do you transition from a folk song like that, something so dramatic and so heavy, into this next song. I'm actually gonna take it back a few seconds and feel how that transition happens. Okay, hold on. I think I get it. I think I get it. So that transition music is the metamorphosis happening, okay, right? Like, um, Alfonsina y el Mar is like the death of that former stage of her, and then you have this transition music happening, and that's the metamorphosis taking place, the rebirth, and then you have Pies Descalzo, Sueños Blancos. It's a song about like how we come into this world, you know, and then social norms that are put on us, but human beings in their purest form, I think is what Pies Descalzo is about, you know, without all the rules of society and regulations. And so what you have there is this new birth, this birth of her getting like a fresh start. I hope that's what the intention was because I, I like that and I like what it's giving me with this performance. Yeah. Yeah, and the energy is picked back up too, yeah. What is going on in that background? They look like animals.
Nie. She's so good at using that mic stand as a prop. Like, she uses every piece of the stage with her performance. She's been doing the upside down mic stand for a while, okay. Never experienced Pia Siscasso Sueños Blancos that way before. That just, mmm. I really, really felt the energy of that. What's going on here? <laughs> Hello, camera person? What you doing? Yes, scream, children. Scream for your queen. Estoy aquí. Yeah. The one that saved her career, you know? Is this version a little slowed down? It feels a little bit slower. I don't know the words to this one, but I just like, I feel every time I hum along. <laughs> Every time she does this kick.
Bad about a swing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she can play kick her guitarist, we loved him. Oh, interesting. I have thoughts about this outro. I have thoughts about this ending. Thoughts. The five years leading up to this concert, I feel like inform the set list of the show and what it the further connection with the metamorphosis and the amphibian concept that we have here alfonsina y el mar to me feels like that dark point of her career where she didn't know if she was going to get shelved or if sony was going to clear her for another album so you have that dark song of being on your deathbed, you know, and going, ah, this is, this, something's gotta happen here, you know? And then you have the transition music, the metamorphosis, the end of that stage of life, and the beginning of the new stage of life with Pies Descalzos, Sueños Blancos, and Estoy Aquí. That's the album, Pies Descalzos, that is the album that established her career and really took her to the next level. So this metamorphosis concept really makes sense to me now about the point that she was at in her career at the time and what she had been through in the past five years. I see that all staged now. The other thing is that it looks like she has not established the tradition of running over to one side of the stage and jumping, running to the other side of the stage and jumping, and then running center stage and doing the jump Done. Maybe she'll do it after these couple of encore songs. But she's also in these shoes, okay? And I've only seen her do the running jump thing when she's had her barefoot concerts. So maybe that is why it hasn't happened yet, is because that would be hard and quite possibly dangerous to do in those shoes. But let's see. Because I know it's not over. I know that's not the end. Hold on, come back, yeah. Looks like the band isn't done, so Shakira isn't done. <laughs> that camera crane over in the corner. <laughs> Wait. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 
Sombra de Ti? Interesting song to include in the encore. But I know it's one of her faves. I want to have a moment of appreciation for whatever this instrument is. I think it's guitars, but it's whatever. I think it's this guitar that's making this wow, 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 wow sound. I can't imagine this song without that sound, okay? Like, I'm, I'm thinking about Lana Del Rey's Ultra Violence album. That sound also appears several times on that album, and I just can't imagine the sound of that album, the vibe of it, without that wow, 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 wow. So a moment of appreciation for that guitar. Instruments on this one just take me out. Yes, sir. There's another one coming. There's another one coming. Get excited, y'all. Get excited, Buenos Aires. Ooh. You know what that just made me think of? Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show is like, does it make you shiver with Antissa? She just had them hanging on her every word with this song. It's like screaming for her to finish that breath and that phrase. <laughs> but there's another song. There's another song coming. There's another one. We got a double encore. We got a double encore happening here. It's gonna be good. No creo, no creo.
What a, what is someone just threw a shirt at her? What's going on? She didn't even flinch. She just smiled and kept winding her waist. People throwing their clothes at her. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would probably throw my shirt at Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch me acting a fool on the front row. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The band is having so much fun. And she's just, what is she just doing waving her bow like that? <laughs> the confetti that we love from Shakira. There's that confetti. <laughs> it's not a Shakira concert without a lot of confetti! So cute, they're like a big family. What are they pointing at? Oh, their muscles. Los quiero mucho. Wow, I've seen it. All right, well, that was Tour Anfibio. The concept at first to me, I will admit, was a bit strange, and it took me a while to wrap my head around, but once I had seen the full picture and the plot of the concert and the set list, then it all made sense to me. I think this was really, really smart of her. There's even a bit of a sense of an upgrade in the size of the crowd in Buenos Aires from, uh, you've got the Viña del Mar concert, and then you've got, um, oh dear. MTV Unplugged with New York. Like, New York was a smaller sized crowd, but the city, of New York is a huge deal. And then this tour finished in Buenos Aires. This tour didn't even last a full two months. 
because everywhere she went was South America. Oh, but she did go to the US for three stops as well. I'm sad it's over. Hmm. Even with, even with the low quality footage, listen, it was cute. It was still super cute. I'm glad that I experienced this era of the queen. The next era is live and off the record. I'm super excited! Pero before even that, I'm going to react to the, uh, it's the Latin Grammys performance, I think, of Ojo Sasi. But I'm gonna react to that one because that is also part of the whole crossover moment that happened that, would actually, that I'm very curious to see, that's very interesting to me. That was fascinating to learn about Alfonsina y el Mar. I loved getting to learn a little bit about a Latin American folklore song. That was, <laughs> it's really beautiful. I should examine the full poem really learn more about it and the person who inspired it um, because it's, you know, it happened within the past two centuries. So it's going to be a very well-recorded folklore. Her band is more solidified at this point. Um, I love that she paused and introduced every single one of them. That was cute. I didn't, you don't, you don't see that very often. That was 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago now. Yeah, because that concert would have been filmed May 12th, 2000, and it is now past May 12th of 2020. Over 20 years ago. That's crazy to think about. A lot can happen in 20 years. A lot has happened in 20 years. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video and enduring this low quality footage with me. I really enjoyed it. It was a great concert. Maybe one day we will get an actual recording of it like I hear the fans have been asking for recently. Because um, I came across a few articles saying that that was a thing that people wanted. And honestly, I'd be interested in it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Have you guys seen this concert before? Uh, what was it like watching it with me? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and send me more stuff to react to. And I will see y'all again very soon. Bye!